Do you need an LLC for your OnlyFans account? If you are new here, make sure to click subscribe because I am sure you're going to learn more than you knew before you started watching. That is always my goal. Do you need an LLC to start an OnlyFans account? If you are new to OnlyFans, you're probably asking yourself lots of different questions like, how do I start on OnlyFans? Do I need a marketing plan for OnlyFans? And what do I do if this thing takes off? If you are successful on OnlyFans, you want to make sure that you have a way to collect your earnings in a business account and not necessarily in a personal account. If OnlyFans takes off for you, you want to make sure that you have it designated as a separate entity. So in this video, we are going to cover, do you need an LLC for your OnlyFans account? Why would you need an LLC for your OnlyFans account? And when is it going to come in handy to have an LLC for your OnlyFans account? Now let's forget for a second that you're an OnlyFans creator and that you are a business owner. So look at this from a business owner standpoint. As a sole proprietor, meaning you haven't done anything, you haven't registered an LLC, you are not an S corporation, you haven't done anything. You've simply created your profile and now you are a sole proprietor on OnlyFans, you know, wanting to put out your content and market that content. That would make you a sole proprietor. So if you're a sole proprietor and nothing more, then you are going to be subject to federal income taxes and self-employment taxes. Now, why should you care about this? Lots of creators on OnlyFans are sole proprietors, meaning they haven't established themselves as formal businesses uh, collecting funds as a business. So like I said, if you haven't done that, you haven't established an LLC, then you're going to be subject to both of those taxes. Now, if you go out and you create an LLC, then here are the differences in terms of the taxes that you would pay. You would avoid double taxation. So if you want to avoid double taxation, which I'm pretty sure nobody wants to pay more taxes, then you want to establish an LLC. So one of the major differences between being a sole proprietor and having an LLC is that with an LLC, you are going to avoid double taxation. You are going to pay less taxes. In other words, the money that you make from being an OnlyFans creator is going to flow through to the entity, to the LLC, and you will only pay taxes once, as opposed to being taxed twice when you were only a sole proprietor. Does this make sense? If this makes sense, tell me in the comments below if you wanna pay more taxes or if you wanna pay less taxes and avoid double taxation. Now there's also an additional benefit to becoming an LLC. If you're an LLC, then you are going to protect your personal assets and your personal belongings from any sort of liability. So why is that important? Well, let's say you get sued on OnlyFans then that means that somebody would be able to attack your personal assets and your personal belongings if you did not have an LLC as protection. So your LLC is sort of like your protection, it's sort of like your armor, and I go more into detail in this video right here, so be sure to watch it after this video because it's a great follow-up to understanding some of the more intricate details of having an LLC. But overall, I just want you to understand that having an LLC offers more protection in terms of liability. So you are going to have more coverage as an LLC than you would if you were only a sole proprietor. So having an LLC does give you an added form of protection that being a sole proprietor just wouldn't give you. So this leads me into question number two. When do you need an LLC? Well, if you are somebody that already knows that you want to have that extra protection so that your personal assets are not on the line, then you would want to create an LLC right away. Now, if that's not really that important to you because you think there's no way somebody's going to sue you on OnlyFans because they love your content so much and they love seeing you so much and they don't want to see you go away, then you can continue as a sole proprietor knowing that you might be a little bit more vulnerable, legally speaking, but there's nothing wrong with that. You could continue as a sole proprietor. But if you're somebody that wants the added protection of an LLC, make sure you scroll down into the description below to find out if we can help you create one. Now, if you're an OnlyFans creator and you are making less than $600, you are not going to be taxed on that money. Now, if you're making over $600, then you are going to have tax liabilities and that's just a fact. So if you want to avoid the double taxation aspect that we just talked about in tip number one, then you want to be sure to create an LLC. That is another instance for when you would want to create an LLC. When else would you want to create an LLC? When else does it make sense for you to do so? Well, this is my most fun tip for when you should create an LLC. 
if you like buying things for your business that you can deduct as business expenses, then I think it totally makes sense for you to establish your business as an LLC instead of maintaining a sole proprietorship. You see, when you have an LLC, you're going to be able to deduct business expenses. So as an OnlyFans creator, you might be buying a certain type of clothing, you might be buying makeup, you might be buying accessories. Depending on what it is that you're using for your marketing, it might be considered a marketing expense. So if you want to deduct those purchases and you want to be able to benefit your business in that sense so that you reduce your taxable income, it absolutely makes sense for you to establish yourself as an LLC. You are not going to be able to take business expenses as a sole proprietor. So to me, this is kind of fun, right? When else are you going to be able to purchase things that you could use in your business and also deduct them as business expenses and lower your taxable income? It just makes sense to have an LLC. So when will it come in hand? to have an LLC? Well, like I said, in the event that you get sued, you don't want to get sued, nobody plans on getting sued, and hopefully you stay out of the way of somebody who is lawsuit happy. But just in case you happen to cross their path, if you have an LLC, you don't have to worry about your personal assets being on the line. So only your business assets would be on the line. So only items that are in your business's name would be vulnerable. So when else is it going to come in handy to have an LLC? Like I said already, if you want to avoid double taxation and you want to be a pass-through entity, then make sure you set yourself up as an LLC. And also the most fun part is that you get to deduct expenses made for the benefit of your business when you are an LLC. If you think it's handy to establish yourself as an LLC as opposed to being a sole proprietorship, which in my opinion it is, especially if you are making $600 or more, then I would definitely say that is probably the right path for you. But as we know, one size does not fit all, so make sure you scroll down into the description and you send me an email because it's always free to do so and I can let you know if we can help you establish an LLC. And don't forget that if you do set yourself up as an LLC, you also want to establish a separate bank account that is going to be very important because you want to keep your business funds separate from your personal funds. By the way, I'm toying with the idea of starting an OnlyFans account. Give me a thumbs up in the comments down below if you think that I should go that route and play with the idea and maybe do something creative on there that would be worth your while. And don't forget to watch this video. Until next time, guys.